All right, welcome. This is AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here we have Unit 6, Simple Harmonic Motion. The section is 6.K, Mass and Period of a Mass Spring System. Here you could read the scenario to yourself. All right. Okay. Part A is suppose that the mass of the cart is m equals to 0 0.5 kilograms and the sand entering the cart at a rate of 0 0.1 kilograms per second. At what time after t equals to 0 is the period of the oscillation 2t? Explain how you arrived at your answer. Okay, these are the notes if you would like to help you along. Okay, m stands for the mass, k is the spring constant, and t is for the period. You could pause the video and try to do it if you would like. And now I'm going to show it to you. So I'm going to start by writing down the equation. T is equal to 2 pi square root of mass over k. All right, but I wanted 2t, correct? So for it to be 2t, all right, nothing happens to the 2 pi. Because the 2 pi is left, I have to change the mass. Okay, mass has to be some value so that this becomes 2. So 2 pi square root m over k. Okay, nothing happens to this because this is the same. Okay, k remains the same. All right. So, but what I need to do here is uh, square it. So I would have to square this square this, this would give me uh, 4t squared is equal to my m, all right? Now, I know that the mass is what? 0 0.5, correct? And I want it to be this. So how do I go from this to 4 times it, okay? So times this by 4, it should get me 20 kilograms. Right, so this was my kilograms, and this is the amount of times I'm being multiplied. Right, so I need the mass. I need the mass, so its starting mass was 0 0.5, and I need the mass to end mass has to be 2 kilograms. Why? Because if I put in 2 here. Right, two kilograms in here, the math work out so that I can double the period. You should see it from here, how I got four times, okay? Four times 0 0.5 got me that two, good? So what is the difference here? Okay, so the difference in the mass, right? Mass final minus mass initial is 20 minus 5, which is equal to 15 kilograms. Okay. So I have to, ab I need this to be able to gain, uh, sorry, sorry, not 20, 2.0, and this was, uh, initial was 0 0.5, and its change is 1.5. It needs to gain 1.5, okay? So it needs to gain 1.5. All right, so here is, it needs to gain here. It has to gain 1.5, okay? Now, it says that right here, if you read this, the rate at which it goes is 0 0.15 kilograms. So the rate is 0 0.1 kilograms. So there's a lot of ways you can do this, okay? So at one second, it is at 1.5. At what? At two seconds, okay, it's at 0 0.2, right? So on and so on and so on, okay? Hold on, 15, oops, sorry. This isn't, this is still 15 kilograms, yeah. So 0 0.5 starting mass, it's 1 point kilograms. Good, 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 all right, so. 
So, how can we do this mathematically? You can do this thinking about that, or you can do it mathematically, okay? So let me show you how you, you can do it mathematically, all right? You would set up a proportion, okay? Are you ready for it? Okay, I'm going to take this out. Okay, this is how you can do it graphically, but here's the proportion, okay? So, 0 0.1 kilograms over one second. This is your original rate. The next one, you want to feel 15 kilograms, but you don't know the time. Okay, so this is the proportion. This is mass over time. Okay, so um, this is the rate, basically, the rate of gain of mass, okay, over the time. Likewise here, you do not, you can, you gain 0 0.1 kilograms in one second. How much time do you need to gain 15 kilograms, okay? Right, so here you can cross multiply. So T is equal to 0 0.1 is equal to 15 kilograms. Then you want to divide this over. So T equals to 15 divided by 0 0.1. So T is equal to 150 seconds. Okay. Uh, if you don't believe me, I can grab Desmos. All right, here's Desmos. Okay. Um, you have the 15 divided by 0 0.1, oh, 15 divided by 0 0.1, 150, okay? So it's going to take 150 seconds for it to fill up here, okay? Good? All right. So that's not the important part. Okay, this is just extra math. Okay, the hard part is actually this. Okay, as the sand falls straight down into the cart, the mechanical energy of the system consists of the spring cart and the sand will in the cart decrease over time with time. You just have to accept this to be true. Okay, why? Why is the mechanical energy of this system, and the system is the spring, the cart, and now the sand will decrease over time? So I wrote that before the sand falls, the spring, the system was just the spring and the cart. After the system, with after afterwards, the system was now the sand, the spring, and the cart. Okay. The kinetic energy is conserved during an elastic collision because energy was required to put energy into the system. Right? So think about this as a collision. Here you had your cart. Okay? Here you had your cart. Here's your cart. And here's your sand. Afterwards, it was your sand and cart. Kinetic energy is not conservative. Why? Because when the two objects collide, they undergo a perfect elastic in collision, right? And notice, okay, that here, there is no more velocity of the second object, right? Okay? You could think about it that way. You're dividing by the mass of the sand and the cart with the initial velocity of the cart. Okay, because the sand is coming down with a velocity, but it's vertically though. So that's the weird part. All right. You could also think about this in terms of work, right? Because again, you're putting energy into the system. Okay? Um, you are doing work into the system. So you have to take energy away. Okay. All right. There you go. So there's two ways of thinking about this. All right. So how does the graph look like in this scenario? So I would like you to understand that this, before this, it should behave like a simple uh, harmonic motion. So let me show you, okay? So it should behave something like this, right? So I'm going to displace it a little bit, okay? And I'm going to let it play. So this, uh, I don't need the velocity, okay? So this should be the... Um, motion of okay uh, five okay this should be the simple harmonic motion right okay 
Now, watch why does it go down, 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 and why does it almost come flat? So do you see how energy is being lost here? Right? Energy is essentially being lost for the system because a simple harmonic motion should behave like a periodically. Okay? So let's take a look. All right? Originally, without the sand, this would of just move like a simple harmonic motion. Okay? So it should behave something like this. But, so this is if it's the same. But now, once you throw in the sand, it's going to start damping. More sand, more sand, more sand. Okay? Why is that? Look at the notes. So, Damping motion varies with fluid use. In this case, it was actually sand. Okay, for an example, fluid has a basically a um, a drag f coefficient. They call it velocity. Um, viscosity. The vibrating motion is basically preserved, but the amplitude of the vibration decreases over time until the motion basically cease or stops. The process is called under damping. The damping motion here is basically the energy is getting, is getting absorbed into the drag of the fluid. That's why it, the oscillation decreases over time. This is actually how car suspensions work. It's called shock absorber. Okay. This, the whole purpose of this is trying to get you to see why the simple harmonic oscillation decreases over time because sand is being put in sand is being put in so energy is now being lost okay kinetic energy um, is now being lost into the system so the motion of this should look something like this it goes up down here's one cycle then the second time the uh, amplitude gets smaller third time the amplitude gets smaller oops sorry the amplitude should get smaller. The amplitude should get small over time. Uh, right? Okay. Should look something like that. Okay. But there you go. That's that's what you're supposed to understand. Okay. And it comes from this idea of the simple harmonic uh, motion getting damp, losing energy over time.